So welcome to the CorelDRAW Graphics Suite webinar. As Mel said, my name is Klaus Fossen and I will be your presenter today. And I'm super excited to be here and want to thank you for joining us today. CorelDRAW is celebrating its 30th birthday and we've decided to mark the event in a big way. Before unveiling the news, I want to spend some time to explain where we're coming from and what our motivation are at Corel that drive CorelDRAW. And it actually all starts with you. You, our CorelDRAW users, are very diverse, both geographically as well as in what industries you work in and the outputs you produce. Each year, we do a global artwork callout where we receive fabulous creations from incredibly talented users from around the world. And uh, what you see here is a cross-section of some of the artwork we received in our most recent callout and demonstrates the broad range of outputs of CorelDRAW users create. It's a real pleasure to see the creativity from you, our users, and thank you very much for your submissions to our artwork callout. So with the diverse range of uh, outputs and graphics you see here from car wraps to illustrations, designs, brochures, uh, sign making, deliverables, all kinds of creative output, um, there is a very diverse set of uh, demands and, and use cases, but in all these different use cases, um, there is a lot that all these various user groups tend to have in common. Every user wants to be creative in what you produce to be able to express yourself in a way that makes you proud of your outputs. You also want and need to be productive it's very important to be able to create designs, layouts, outputs, et cetera, in an efficient and productive fashion without sacrificing quality. For many of you, time is money and it's important to be able to complete your workflows in a highly productive fashion. Additionally, we've learned from many of our users that they want to be in control of their work and the tools they use. They need full confidence that they are able to use their tools in the way that they want to cater to their needs and through to the outputs they produce. CorelDRAW Graphics Suite in response to our users must be responsive to those needs you express to us in the tools we provide, the new and enhanced features we develop, and the way the software works. And similar, similarly, it needs to be adaptive to changes and evolutions in how you work with your tools. Finally, it needs to be be flexible to respond to your individual circumstances and requirements. With that, I wanted to set the stage. I'm happy to introduce to you now CorelDRAW Graphics Suite 2019, the latest edition of our flagship Graphics Suite. CorelDRAW Graphics Suite 2019 focuses on three key pillars for our users. Each of our new and enhanced features speaks to one of these key pillars as we deliver an even more amazing design experience for you. First, it's about more precision and control, allowing you to work smarter and with more certainty. Next, it's about providing more freedom to explore and be creative with new design templates and new features to test the limits of great design. And finally, it's about a more powerful and streamlined design experience with continued performance enhancements and streamlined navigation and enhanced customizability. CorelDRAW Graphics Suite 2019 includes many products. After all, it's a full suite of applications. CorelDRAW, which of course is the best known product at the heart of the suite, provides vector illustration and graphic design, as well as page layout layout capabilities for documents of up to 999 pages, 999 pages, I wanted to say. So this means you don't need two different products for illustrations and page layout. Corel Photo Paint is our award-winning full-featured professional photo and bitmap editing application. Corel Font Manager is a powerful font management application that allows users to manage the many fonts on their system as well as access fonts for their projects that aren't even installed, but are available for use in the suite. Corel Power Trace provides a powerful bitmap to vector tracing functionality that is included within CorelDRAW and allows users to convert non-scalable images into fully scalable objects with ease. And Corel Aftershot HDR is a powerful application that allows raw photo manipulation and HDR merge, 
including the ability to batch process files for users with a photo workflow. In addition to the core applications, we also include some other third-party utilities with the suite. And Vista Photo Zoom Pro is a very useful photo editing plugin included with Photo Paint that allows you to upsample images to a higher resolution. Microsoft VBA and VSTA allow users and third-party developers to customize their use of CorelDRAW Graphics Suite, as some users like to create custom workflows, scripts, and even products based on CorelDRAW. In addition, we continue to provide thousands of pieces of clip arts, photos, fonts, templates, and fills to our users. We have been providing these additional values for years, and it is something that many of our users really appreciate to help them with some of their designs. Now, let's talk about some of our new and enhanced, as well as most powerful features, which really speak to the idea of allowing you to be in control. One of the exciting new features in CorelDRAW 2019 is what we refer to as pixel-perfect control. Digital workflows and designing for the web is, of course, becoming more and more common. And this great new feature allows you to create vector-based web graphic designs using a pixel grid, ensuring that the digital output has complete precision. And let me take an example to show you what we mean by that. So this is CorelDRAW 2019. And I want to actually use one of our customer artwork samples to show you what pixel perfect output means to us in CorelDRAW 2019. So this is a vector design. And I can go to the pixel view, which is very useful to see how web output as PNG or JPEG, for example, would look like. And you can see that at this size, um, these vector objects would actually be output at a, sorry, <laughs> at a non-crisp way. Now, with CorelDRAW 2019, we have new functionality that ensures you have a clean and sharp and crisp output every time you create web graphics with your vector design application CorelDRAW. In the Align and Distribute Docker, I have a new tool called Align with pixel grid and clicking that to the selected object immediately aligns this object the curves the edges with the pixels with the pixel grid that you see here in that zoom factor and that ensures crisp and sharp output when you create web graphics there is further enhancements in this area to ensure pixel perfect designs and web output that i invite you to explore when looking at coral draw graphics suite 2019 with the free trial we offer on our website. Let me go back to my presentation and show you more. The next thing I'd like to show you is a very important part of Coral Draw and Coral Photo Paint. The new objects docker is really at the core of a design and contains a summary of every single object in your design. For complex designs or those on multiple pages, there could literally be thousands of objects. We have completely overhauled our objects docker for version 2019. It was previously named the object manager for those who have worked in CorelDRAW before. And the work on this enhancement that I will show you in a second was so significant that we actually had originally intended to introduce this with our last version but then decided it needed more time to be of best value to you, our users. And one of the simplest ways to see how much easier the new object stocker in CorelDRAW 2019 is to use is to see the graphical representation of each object in the design. So let me bring up the object stocker here on the right, and then I use this sample design. Go down in the objects manager, open that group, and there, here you see the graphical representation of each object group or object inside a group, which helps detecting and identifying objects easily. Another new feature is the search capabilities in the objects docker. So I can type in donut, for example, to search for any objects that have donut in their name, and it will now scan my whole multi-page document and show 
any objects that have donut in the name. For now, it looks like it's only this one object. So I'm good with that. So the search function really helps you and allows you to very easily locate elements uh, using search strings. And imagine a very complex design with thousands of objects. This will save you significant time when working on designs. Now, let's talk about some of our new and enhanced features that speak to the idea of allowing you to be creative. Non-destructive editing is a very important part of design and has traditionally been associated with photo editing, whereby you can apply changes or filters to a bitmap without altering the underlying original element. With CorelDRAW 2019, we are bringing this capability to vector designs in addition to the functionality we already provided with bitmaps and photo paint. If you look at this user design, so I want to load that as a separate file again. And, uh, through the objects docker, I can actually search for an object that I want to locate in here. I should actually expand that. So you see there is two objects with paddle in the name, and there is one bitmap object that I don't want to show, and there is one vector object that I actually want to use here. And let me zoom in. So with this vector object, I want to show you non-destructive effects in vector design. So I can add effects to vector objects. And so far, that isn't entirely new. Um, I use the scatter effect. I can see this preview in real time. So I go to maximum. That looks good. Now, new in CorelDRAW 2019 is when you go to the properties docker, there is an effects tab in here. This new effects tab now has the scatter effect added that I just applied to the vector object. I can add more effects. For example, I go with a blur effect, Gaussian blur. And again, I can see immediately how this effect looks like on my vector object. And I'm fine with it. I keep it like that. Now that effect got added to my list of effects in here. And as you can see here, I can turn visibility on and off of a single effect in that stack. I can change the order of the effects, which may also have an effect on how this effect overall looks or this effect stack. So I like it the other way around. I can take a whole set of effects, a whole effect stack, and uh, basically drag and drop it to another object. So let me move here, and then I can drag it here to this object and it gets immediately applied to that object. And even more, I can create a style or a style set from a whole effect stack to apply it to many objects or even share it in the style sheet for other design projects. And best of all, since this is non-destructive editing, the effects have been applied in a non-destructive way, and that means I can still modify the underlying vector object. I can resize it, move it, but I can also change its shape, for example. So let me just do this quickly, add the curve here, and you see all these changes get immediately applied with the effects being applied to my vector object. So that is incredibly powerful. I can change the color, and it will all update immediately. I go back to the original color as I do not want to destroy the design. So an extremely powerful feature. As you can see here, our beta users have also recognized that this functionality has unlimited creative potential. For some users, a bit of inspiration is all it takes for them to get started. And included with the suite, we have over 150 design templates, most of them completely new designed for version 2019, allowing our users to start with an existing design concept and then modify the elements to suit your specific needs. And the new from 
template dialog has been greatly enhanced to provide easy access to the included templates, as well as your own custom template collections you can create with CorelDRAW 2019. Let's continue. Let's talk about some of the enhanced and new features that speak to the idea of allowing you to be productive and to be more productive, actually. Productivity, often a taboo word in the creative world, is very important to you, we know that. The vast majority of our users don't have the luxury to work on unlimited budgets and time when it comes to creating visual communication pieces. So getting things done quickly, yet with very high quality and creativity is paramount. Time is money, and when the productivity of CorelDRAW enables you to get more jobs done every week, the software pays for itself in no time. So here's how CorelDRAW Graphic Suite 2019 helps to increase your productivity. The new version provides an exceptional new find and replace capability, which will save users a great deal of time, particularly when working with complex designs with thousands of design elements. Users can easily locate drawing components and change their attributes on the fly. An object can be selected to use as the basis for a search, and very detailed object properties such as color, fill, outline, and more provide users with the ability to find and replace elements with ease. All that is accessible in a very quick and easy way with very few clicks through the new find and replace Docker. Advanced queries make it even more powerful, as you can see here in that screenshot, allowing users to find and replace even very complex project elements. As mentioned earlier, because digital workflows have become so prominent, it is very important that CorelDRAW Graphics Suite continues to innovate and advance in this area. In addition to pixel-perfect workflows, exporting directly to WordPress and industry-leading file compatibility demonstrate this commitment to digital outputs and workflows. And for print output, we now support PDF X4, which we see becoming a more commonly accepted PDF standard in the print industry. Let's now shift to looking beyond the desktop. So for years, the design experience has resided exclusively on users' desktop or laptops, but that has changed. The internet is here to stay, I feared, and people are not just used to consuming information on the internet, but also creating things, collaborating with others, and that should include design. We're very pleased that with our 2019 release, we are taking the design experience beyond the desktop to the web. CorelDraw.app as a whole new app included with CorelDraw Graphics Suite 2019 takes the design experience to the web, allowing you to work both on your desktop or laptop, but also on the go. You can upload CorelDraw files to the CorelDraw Cloud, to the Corel Cloud, then access it on any device with a major browser for annotating or adding additional design elements. And I want to actually show you how CorelDraw.app, our new web app included with CorelDraw Graphics Suite, looks in a browser. So this is CorelDraw.app loaded in Chrome browser, in this case. And uh, once signed in, I have several options here. I can start a new design from a blank canvas using uh, different size templates or going with a custom height. I can start from a number of templates, for example, go with social media templates, and that will open up a lot of options for not starting with a blank canvas. So I can actually uh, take a moment to load. I hope the connection is okay for the broadcast. So let me pick an example from uh, up above just to not spend time on waiting for the templates to load. So with that, I now start a new design in CorelDraw.app in a web browser. So there is nothing installed or um, loaded to the, to the computer. It's just signing in to the app app in the web browser. And that is a fully functional vector graphics design application that I have loaded here. So you see there is 
options to work with the different kind of objects, vector objects, of course, text. Um, I can use bitmaps as here in the background. And if I select the tool, uh, an, an object, I can play with its um, options. So I can set the opacity, for example, or change the text font and do whatever I want in my design. And I want to actually go back to the file open command, as I can also store and access files from the cloud. And with that, I have loaded a few examples here. So I can, for example, go to this design, open it, and continue working with it. That's another example from our uh, customer artwork submissions. So thanks for this customer artwork. And here I have all the options that I would need and want um, to work with that vector graphics file. So I can access vectors, work with the curves, as you know from Coral Draw on the desktop. And then when I'm done with that, I can save the file either to the native CoralDraw.app web file format to the cloud, or I can download the file to my computer. And I can actually also save the file as a Coral Draw file. So I have these options here. I can, of course, export it as well. But saving as CDR, that also opens uh, up the opportunity to start a design on the go. And then when you're back at your office at home, where you have your CorelDRAW graphics suite installed on your desktop or laptop, then you access the CDR file from there and continue working with it. The other way around, it also works. You can open CDR files from your computer and add elements to it using the vector graphics authoring tools in the web app. So that's a very powerful addition to CorelDRAW Graphics Suite 2019. It works on any platform as it just loads in a web browser. Now, there is one more thing. So those of you who have seen the teaser, there was a few speculations. What about the Mac? Years ago, Corel did produce a Mac version of CorelDRAW Graphics Suite. However, it was a port from Windows. And as a result, the Mac version never lived up to what it should have and was subsequently discontinued. For years since, CorelDRAW Graphic, Graphic Suite has been available for the Windows platform only. Now, over the years, many people, many of you, would always ask, what about the Mac? When are you coming back to the Mac? Our answer has consistently been to use Parallels, and with the recent acquisition of Parallels, now, more than ever, Parallels is the best way to use CorelDRAW Graphics Suite for Windows on a Mac. I am actually using Parallels right now to run CorelDRAW on this device. But we also know that Mac users expect a native experience. We knew that if we were to ever come back to the Mac, it would have to be a product built from the ground up for Mac OS. It would need to have a common file format and core engine with the Windows version, but would also need to be truly Mac from a user experience. We didn't want to follow what the other Pro Graphics Suite does and have a hybrid product. I'm really excited today to show the results of many years of development. Yes, CorelDRAW Graphics Suite is now on Mac. And I want to show you this design. As you have seen, I've been working on a Windows OS. Now let me swipe to Mac. This is the same design, CorelDRAW file loaded in CorelDRAW 2019 for Mac. I'm running this on a MacBook Pro. And you can see here that this design actually is a vector design. So I can bring it in here in wireframe mode. And it shows as a vector with all its details and curve objects in here. Let me go back to the enhanced view mode. 
as this shows the design as you would like to see it. So a Mac version provides the same powerful design experience as what our CorelDRAW users are used from the Windows version, including all the tools and effects users should expect. And I will show a few of them uh, in the next few minutes. When we set out to develop our native Mac version, there were three core mandates that had to be achieved. First, it had to be a true native Mac OS experience. It had to look like Mac, feel like Mac, just be Mac. We have been working very closely with Apple, in fact, ensuring that we follow uh, the human interface guidelines to make sure that the suite is 100% native Mac experience. And I actually want to show you that we have the full Mac support. Sorry, there's one thing I should have brought up early on, and I missed that. Okay, go back to Corridor. I actually wanted to show you the touch bar um, that you cannot see on screen right now, as I missed to have the tool running that is needed to show this. So I quickly show you the tools in the touch bar and you see a glimpse of it in this screenshot here. Um, so touch bar is on recent newer MacBook Pros and that's actually fully supported in, in CorelDRAW. So now I have no object selected. Uh, I can use zoom functionality on my touch bar and I will uh, have options, for example, to switch to the full screen mode um, and go out of it again. When I select text, the same touch bar will present text formatting options like I can click italic or change the color appearance of that text. Do things like that in context of the tool I'm currently using. I actually want to go back to my regular design. So that is touch bar on MacBook Pro. The other one that I can show that feels natively Mac in a very obvious way is the uh, dark mode, which is new to Mac OS Mojave. And right now I am actually in dark mode as those who are familiar with the new Mac OS Mojave will be able to tell. So Mac OS dark mode is a Mac OS feature and I can change that here in the Mac OS system preferences. And I want to go from dark mode to light mode and I can do that in the Mac OS settings. And then CorelDRAW application will immediately switch to that light mode. Um, and of course, the other way around, if I prefer dark mode, uh, I can go to dark mode and CorelDRAW and Corel Photo Paint and the other applications in the suite will recognize that. For now, I stay with light mode as I think projecting and screen sharing works quite well with the light mode. So that's the first objective to make the applications feel like Mac, native Mac software. Second, the Mac version had to have all the features that our Windows version has. There must be feature parity and we have achieved that. Aside from some very minor elements that are only relevant in Windows workflows, there is full feature parity between the two platforms. CorelDRAW Graphic Suite for Mac and CorelDRAW Graphic Suite 2019 for Windows actually also come with a new programming interface in addition to VBA and VSTA, which is Windows only technology. The new JavaScript API will allow developers on both Mac and Windows platform to automate and extend the functionality of CorelDRAW. Finally, the files had to be 100% identical between the platforms, and we provide that too. The file created in CorelDRAW on Windows can be opened perfectly in the Mac OS version and vice versa. This includes every aspect of the file, from object structure to visual integrity, typography, and color attributes and settings. So CorelDRAW Graphics Suite 2019 for Mac provides the heart and soul of CorelDRAW with a Mac attitude. Now, 
let me show you a few highlights of CorelDRAW Graphics Suite on Mac that our Windows product users may be familiar with and that provide unique value to the product to support you in various workflows. And again, let's have a look at those features and tools with a view to how it supports you in being creative, being productive, and putting you in control. Power Trace is a very powerful tool found within CorelDRAW that provides tremendous efficiency in converting bitmap images to scalable vectors. In certain workflows, users find themselves with bitmap versions of elements, such as a scanned logo provided by a customer, that you need to scale and include in a vector design. And recreating a vector from a bitmap manually can be very time consuming. And PowerTrace makes the process very easy. And I want to actually show you that. So let me pick this logo. And when zooming in, you can see that this is not high resolution. So it is not meant to be scaled to large size uh, for being used in uh, print or some other uh, large scale output. Now in Coral Draw, you find a trace bitmap functionality, which then loads Coral Power Trace. I can select the preset. For this one, it's a logo. And um, I want to delete the original. And you can see all the settings have been made for me, so I don't need to bother. I can try to uh, move some of the settings to uh, optimize the, the settings. But basically, that looks great. And with a click to OK, I should be done. And that's an effect I want not really to show. Let me try the quick trace. That will be even quicker. So with that, I can go here. And now what I have here is a group of two objects. Underneath there is my uh, original bitmap, but now you can see the sharp edges of this vector and I can apply a fill or do whatever I want or need um, with this graphic from here. And of course, I can scale it to whatever size I need as it is a vector now. And it was literally one click to get here. CorelDRAW Graphics Suite also provides very powerful capabilities with respect to color. Color harmonies allow users to use color theory to define the perfect colors for their design. And if you want to change the colors for a particular design, you can keep the colors used in harmony and completely alter the color set used while keeping balance. So color styles can be created and applied to ensure consistency throughout the design. And I want to give you a quick example of that as well. So one um, use case of uh, color harmonies and color styles is when you want or need to create variations. So let's imagine this design, again, a uh, customer piece of artwork. Um, you want to create variations of these elements. So all I need to do is to drag selected objects here. It creates a set of color harmonies. And I'm actually happy with those settings. And when I click on one of these harmonies, then you have this uh, color wheel. And there you can create variations very quickly using different presets and uh, color theories to create one or many variations of this design to make it look completely different. And that's, again, done with literally one or two clicks. Uh, and that will save you a lot of time when you have to create a number of variations um, from one design in different color sets. One of the most exciting features introduced last year in CorelDRAW is the Symmetry Drawing Mode. This very powerful tool allows users to create a range of symmetrical designs from simple objects mirrored, such as this tiger. It has been partially designed as a symmetry, um, and that can save a great deal of time. And it goes up to complex kaleidoscopic effects in real time. 
So designs that previously would have taken very long time um, can be produced in seconds. And I want to give you another quick example of this one. Uh, let me just zoom in here again using my touch bar. So this is a symmetry shape. And uh, you can see I have selected it. So I can go into the edit mode that will put it up, bring up a wireframe mode. I can switch to the uh, full preview mode so that you can see more on screen. I can change the number of axes here. So this has been 10 axes. I can easily change that. I go back to 10. Then I can use the curve tools, for example, to change the whole design and it will immediately reflect throughout all the mirrored lines um, my design changes and when I click finish um, that immediately updates in my design so that I can use this with those changes and you have seen that is really quick um, to be done with that symmetry tool. Another powerful and creative tool previously introduced in Corel Draw is called Pointalyzer, which allows users to create vector mosaics from any number of selected vector or bitmap objects. I want to give you a very quick example of that one using this customer artwork again. So uh, what I want to do here is add a Pointalyzer effect to a subset to the background actually only. And I have my Pointalyzer effect open here and all I need to do is select a few settings and then I can create from this vector object, in that case, a vector mosaic using circles. I could also use squares or custom shape. And what it does, it creates this um, vector effect. I bring that to the back. And now you have a, a great creative way to modify this design. This can also be used uh, greatly when you have um, low resolution photos and bring them into a large size design and using the pointalizer effect. That is something that uh, a lot of our users um, yeah, came to love with, with, uh, with CorelDRAW Graphics Suite. And this is very unique in CorelDRAW. So other professional graphics products re require expensive plugins to achieve, achieve results like that. Another example for the powerful tools of Coral Draw. Um, Coral Draw provides dozens of intuitive vector editing tools that provide full creative control and power. And I want to actually switch out of the full mode again to actually show you what this is about. So, for example, there's curve tools like this that let you easily change the shape of, of curves. Or to give you another example, there's shaping tools like these uh, smear twirl tools that you can use easily to apply effects. Try once again. Give me a second. Okay, that's the show effect. So I wanted to show you how easily and quickly I can apply such an effect, but it doesn't seem to work. I have to believe that this is um, due to the recording as this worked a couple of hours ago in Coral Draw. So there is a big number of curve and shaping tools that help you create uh, vector shapes in any any form or sign and that helps you to complete your designs without sacrificing quality as this is all vector based. Another unique Coral Draw feature that empowers creativity is the Live Sketch drawing tool. Live Sketch is an artificial intelligence powered sketching tool that enables a pen-based design experience in Coral Draw to be as natural as with pen and paper. So with Live Sketch, you can start your sketches in Coral Draw, 
no need to start with pen and paper and the result will always be a perfect vector shape, a vector curve uh, that you can use in Coral Draw with all the curve and shaping tools, apply fills and work from there. So you can start your designs, your sketches in Coral Draw and don't need any other applications or pen and paper and scan and digitize it afterwards. For many of our CorelDRAW users, typography and page layout are a very important part of their workflow. CorelDRAW has tremendous power when it comes to working with text, advanced font capabilities, and overall layout for designs such as marketing materials, brochures, and other multi-page documents using CorelDRAW's multi-page capabilities. As an example, I want to show you the support for ligatures and stylistic sets. So I We'll use a different font here. Let me find that quickly. The tool is playing tricks on me here. So it seems that a number of things do not play well with the go to webinar. So I show you that in that limited form with the uh, selected font. So you can select open style, uh, open type um, font settings here, ligatures uh, to work with typography in CorelDRAW. And as you see throughout the presentation, CorelDRAW supports multi-page files uh, that include master layers, page numbers, and other multi-page layout capabilities. So this presentation is a multi-page CorelDRAW file um, that I use for presenting you all the news and capabilities of CorelDRAW Graphics Suite. But CorelDRAW Graphics Suite is more gen than just CorelDRAW with all its power in illustration, graphic design, and page layout functionality. Corel Font Manager is a very useful application in CorelDRAW Graphics Suite. It lets you easily handle, organize, and explore your typeface and font collections. by giving you the tools to control every aspect of your typography workflow. Whether you want to find fonts for your projects or um, organize fonts for the easy access, manage unneeded fonts, Corel Font Manager has the tools you need. And you can see here that you can filter fonts, you can create collections, and all that is then also synchronized back to Coral Draw, where you have full access to all these font settings in the font list, where you can bring up the filters with your collections, your filtered lists to select fonts from installed and also uninstalled fonts. So what makes Coral Font Manager unique is its capability of indexing local and networked folders of fonts to be used in designs without the need to install them all in your systems folder. For those who amass very large collections of fonts, being able to access, find, and use the right font for your visual communication is hugely beneficial. And while CorelDRAW gets most of the attention for its power vector illustration and page layout capabilities, Corel Photo Paint is also an extremely powerful professional photo editing software. The perfect complement to CorelDRAW, Photo Paints provides users with photo or bitmap editing needs in their workflow with all the tools they need to be successful. Let me open Corel Photo Paint quickly. And Corel Photo Paint comes with the same powerful objects inspector that I showed you in Corel Draw. It supports layered bitmaps, lenses for non destructive editing, CMYK and 48 bit RGB and 64 bit CMYK colors, and much more. In this example, you see this is a layered bitmap with a few lenses, and that's actually one of our um, discovery files that we introduced in version 2019 on both uh, the Windows and the Mac platform. So I can explore this file um, when I need inspiration, and I go back to the um, welcome screen, and there you see there is more discovery files that you can explore with the uh, various tools that are um, 
used in those files. And then there is a second category, give it a try files that actually have instructions um, attached to the uh, to the design so that you can really try out specific features and workflows um, to help you with getting started with the tool. And a set of discovery files and give it a try files you also find in Coral Draw. So that's not unique to Coral Photo Paint, but that's also included in Coral Draw. Looking at time, I think I need to speed up a bit as I want to show you a couple of things. On the subjects of productivity and digital workflow, Corel Aftershot HDR is another powerful application included in the suite that provides raw image processing and HDR support for users that work with high-end photography workflows. It has a batch processing module so that you can work with uh, big numbers of, of photos, photo series, um, and prepare that for being retouched in Photo Paint, uh, being introduced into your graphics projects with Corel Draw and do more with that. Now, let's step back. You remember me saying that we've learned that our users demand to be in control. And putting you in control does not only refer to functionality in the software, it starts before our users even start using CorelDRAW Graphics Suite 2019. It starts in how you acquire the products. And while some other vendors try to force their users into subscription, we offer both subscription as well as the ability to purchase the product and own it. While subscription works well for some, many of you may still prefer to have a perpetual license of the software. And of course, business, enterprise, and academic licensing options are also available as well as maintenance. And with CorelDRAW Graphics Suite 2019, we introduce upgrade protection across all the perpetual license options as the most affordable best price option to stay current while you always own the latest version for perpetual use. And our loyal CorelDRAW Graphics Suite Windows version customers who have signed up for a subscription or the upgrade protection, they have already received the new version as downloads and with their personal serial number to get started with it right away. And volume license customers on maintenance will receive the new version in the next few days. That's what we mean by putting you in control. So there you have it. CorelDRAW Graphics Suite 2019, available for Windows as well as for Mac. And they both include access to our brand new web app, CorelDRAW.app. But that's not all. We are also releasing store editions of CorelDRAW as standalone applications on the Microsoft Store and the Mac App Store today. It actually is already available on both stores to provide even more choice, especially to those who prefer to subscribe to their software titles through their platform App Store. We invite you to try out CorelDRAW Graphics Suite 2019 on your platform of choice. So dare to be unique. dare to be bold and to challenge convention. Thank you. I think now it's time to take some questions and uh, I see that there are number of questions that have been answered during this session. So uh, we should be good with most of the questions. And uh, I see we have one question. So let's take that one. Yes, so the question is, is CorelDraw.app um, supported with all browsers or which browser should you use CorelDraw.app? That's a good question. And I've mentioned that it supports all platforms or it is platform independent. Uh, of course, you can use it in a browser on Windows or on Mac or on any other um, OS and device. Um, 
we've tested it with a number of browsers and all the major browsers have HTML5 support. So um, basically any, any popular browser I'd say uh, is capable of uh, running CorelDraw.app. So there is no, no real limits uh, in there, so whatever your uh, OS is. And I've actually demonstrated it on Google Chrome, um, which you will know is available on a number of platforms, including Android and iOS. And uh, it is working very well on Safari on, on Mac OS as well. So there isn't really limitations in, in what browsers we support. a lot of questions we might have seen. So there's a couple questions that we're going to follow up on um, through a direct email at a later date. But 